Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today we celebrate the memorial of Saints Basil the Great and Gregory Nationsen, bishops and doctors of the church. Our mass presider is Reverend Father Alexander Balatbat. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. In a very special way, we offer this Mass for the peace and healing in our country. We also pray for all the birthday celebrants today. We include in our prayer, uh, Ombudsman Samuel Martires, who is celebrating his birthday today and also for Danica Icaranum. We also pray for all the sick. We pray for Elmer Santos, Nana Ivanji, Father Joey Valdez, Brother Bart, Norma Balatbat, Daisy Cruz. And we also pray for all the souls in Purgatory, we include in our prayer, Lucia Manalansan. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery, let us pause for a moment and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. God, our Creator, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, our Savior, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. God, our destiny, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May all loving God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who were pleased to give light to your church by the example and teaching of the bishops, Saints Basil and Gregory, grant, we pray, that in humility we may learn your truth and practice it faithfully in charity through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, who is the liar? Whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ, whoever denies the Father and the Son, this is the Antichrist. Anyone who denies the Son does not have the Father, but whoever confesses the Son has the Father as well. Let what you heard from the beginning remain in you. If what you heard from the beginning remains in you, then you will remain in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that He made us, eternal life. I write you these things about those who would deceive you, as for you, the anointing that you received from him remains in you, so that you do not need anyone to teach you. But his anointing teaches you about everything and is true and not false, just as it taught you, remain in him. And now, children, remain in him, so that when he appears we may have confidence and not be put to shame by him at his coming. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. This is the testimony of John when the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, What are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you? So we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert, Make straight the way of the Lord. As Isaiah the prophet said, some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, Why then do you baptize? If you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet, John answered them, I baptized with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. The second day of 2021. Happy New Year. Did you hear the message? The message of Christmas. Narinig mo ba ang tinig? John the Baptist proclaimed his identity. I am not the Christ. I am not one of the prophets. I am the voice of one crying out in the desert, make straight the way of the Lord. I am the voice, I am not the word. He is the voice. Who are you? A very significant question of our life. And if I will paraphrase it, ano ang dahilan bakit ka isinila? Ano ang dahilan bakit ikay nabubuhay? Babalik at babalik pa rin sa tanong, sino ka? Ano ang iyong misyon? John the Baptist it was very clear in himself, I am not the world. 
I am the voice. The voice crying out in the desert makes straight the way of the Lord. Sumisigaw ng pagkakapantay-pantay. Sumisigaw na ituwid ang daan. Mapanganib ang bakubakong daan. Mapanganib ang likulikong daraanan. Mapanganib din ang buhay na hindi pantay-pantay. Mapanganib ang likuliko. The call of the voice from the desert makes straight the way of the Lord. Upang may pagkakapantay-pantay na maganap, may babawasan, may dadagdagan. Ano ang babawasan? Ano ang dadagdagan? Ang Pasko, inaanyayahan tayong isa buhay ang pantay-pantay na buhay. Magandang pagninilay sa atin, katulad ng pagkakasilang kay Juan na malinaw ang dahilan, balikan din natin ang dahilan bakit tayo isinilang. Minsan may edad na tayo, pero buhay pa rin tayo. Ano ang misyong dapat mabigyan ng kaganapan. Natatandaan ko nung April 4 last year, 50 na po ako. Alam kong dahilan bakit nabubuhay pa ako hanggang ngayon. Nabubuhay ako para maging pari. Nabubuhay ako para magmisa araw-araw, makinig ng kumpisal. Dumalaw sa may sakit. Nabubuhay ako para makiisa sa paglalakbay ng sambayanan bilang isang pari. Magandang pagninilay din sa mga nagdiriwang ngayon ng kaarawan. Anong kaganapan ang dapat maganap sa ating buhay? Ang tawag nga doon, fundamental option. The purpose of our life. John is the voice. We priests are the bridge. Most probably you're also being called. You are alive to stand for what is right. You are alive, most probably like John, to be the voice of the voiceless. You are alive because you are called to participate in creating a beautiful world, a world of happiness, a world of peace, a world of justice, a world of truth, a world of compassion. Kung saan Kasabay sa pangarap ng Diyos, walang maiiwan, walang masa sa isang tabi, walang mawawalan ang lahat ay pantay-pantay. Natiti ako, sa diwa ng Paskong ito, magiging malinaw sa iyo ang misyon mo. Katulad ng misyon ni Juan na nagpahayag at nagturo kung sino ang Kristo, kung sino ang Mesiyas. Yun ang panawagan upang buhay ipagdiwang ng may kaganapan. Ito rin ang alay ng Pasko. Amen.
St. John the Baptist considered himself unworthy of the work entrusted to him by God. Nevertheless, he fulfilled his mission in the spirit of service and humility. With that same spirit, let us approach the Father to assist us in our needs. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the servants of the church may carry their task with humility and generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That civil authorities may have the sincere intention of working for the welfare of all citizens and seeking the common good instead of their own interest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That parents and teachers may inspire and encourage their children and students to persevere despite hardship and failure. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may feel secure by our love and care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find peace and happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the birthday celebrants, Ombudsman Samuel Martires, Danica Icaranum. And we also pray for all the sick, Elmer Santos, Nana Ivanji, Norma Balatbat, Father Joey Valdez, and Brother Bart. And we pray for all the souls in purgatory, especially Lucia Manalansan. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the all-loving Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory in honor of St. Basil and Gregory. Amen to our eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through Him, the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor when our frailty is assumed by Your Word. Not only does human mortality receive an ending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. 
and so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Francisco, our Bishop, Noli, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Amen. 
Give us this day our daily bread And forgive us our trespasses As we forgive those who trespass against us But deliver us, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the peace of Jesus. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are going to partake in his sacred broken body. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May partaking of the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of Saints Basil and Gregory, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. 
Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. We pray the Rosary every day for the peace in our country and the whole world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May all loving God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God loves you. Mama Mary loves you. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Father Alex Balatbat, I was assigned by our bishop here as the administrator of the Our Lady of Antipolo Retreat House. The Our Lady of Antipolo Retreat House is located inside the St. Michael compound, St. Michael Retreat House, San Jose Extension, San Isidro Antipolo City. I'm straight for